Hey guys, how are you all doing today? I am just um, in bed, as you can see. It is currently just gone on two o'clock and I'm still sat here frustrated at the fact that I'm just not getting a solid Wi-Fi at the guest house that I'm staying at. So I'm just gonna go find a cafe to work from today and I also just need to finish off with like buying all the necessities. I need to get some hair products is that this hair needs to come out of my hair like my hair is crying it needs washing it needs nurturing and it just needs air to it so i just really i can't wait to see my natural hair again now i've had enough of this and yeah i'm just going to be working today because i have a backlog of videos that i need to get out there and um, so yeah i also want to show you guys these vitamins that i've been taking so it's called foggy vit i got these in vietnam because my anemia has just been on a new level that i've never experienced i've been struggling to get out of bed i've been extremely dizzy like the minute i stand up i'm falling back down again it's just not been a nice feeling and you know when you can just you know you just know that your body is just not right and it's screaming for help so i just thought i cannot go another day without taking anything to treat my iron deficiency so i got these um capsules i was on the hunt for liquid form of iron just because i feel like it absorbs so much better than tablets and yeah, I feel like tablets are just the biggest con. So I really wanted something liquid, which I finally found. I've been using these for like the past week now and I do feel like they've made a dramatic difference or maybe it's just all in my head, who knows, but I do feel a lot better. So the weirdest thing about these is I didn't realize they actually taste so much like blood, but then I've realized it's not that, it's the other way around because of course they taste like iron and iron tastes like blood. I probably just confused the shit out of you guys <laughs> but yeah so i've been taking these um, and i feel like they've been working so if you do suffer from anemia or if you're just very fatigued you've probably got an well let me not try and diagnose you look into this for me so yeah she said she's gonna pass it on to the relevant team and get back to me she said <laughs> this hair has got to leave my head top i hate to admit it and it's so embarrassing but this hair fucking stinks so it has to come out today i have been prolonging this for the longest time I'm actually so shocked that i even lasted so long and if i would have washed it and took care of it it probably would have lasted a lot longer but my scalp is crying <laughs> so it needs to come out today so the reason i've been delaying taking this hair out is because i ain't got no products I mean, I've got products, but it's not products, products. I mean, I think you know what I mean. I need 4C miracles to look after my hair and I've literally just got olive oil. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I do know what I was thinking. I was thinking I'm just going to get out here and it'll be fine. I'm going to create natural hair products, this and that. And <laughs> since getting out here, I've kind of realized like that's not realistic and I'm gonna need some products so today my mission is to go out there and see what I can find hopefully I managed to find a few products out there that can at least tame it but yeah it's gonna be a very long day it's so quiet and peaceful out here today luckily the area that I'm staying in has got like a whole row of different shops and stuff so I don't really have to walk too far to try and find products which is good so we'll see what I can find Look what they have here, castor oil. They have castor oil. Now, it's not to say it's gonna be the same as the Jamaican black castor oil, but any castor oil is good enough for me. somewhat of a success i managed to get some castor oil which is good um and i got some barocca as well because my iron has just been messing with me some iron supplements but i just feel like it'll be better to have some vitamin c supplements as well 
So that's why I got them. Um, but now, next stop, I'm gonna go find some shampoo. I didn't get it from in there because I feel like I could probably get it cheaper elsewhere. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go look for some shampoo and conditioner, obviously. And that should be it. That should be all right. So we'll see what we can find. Also got like these powdered masks. So I wonder if any of these would be good for hair. Face and body. Ooh. Face and body. I wonder if this would be good for my hair because apparently milk's good for hair, isn't it? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm falling over here. Um, I can't read any of it, so I don't know. Even like a coconut one. So I'm back from the shop now and I think I did quite all right to be quite honest with you. I got some castor oil as you've seen so this is just a godsend right now and the fact they even have this because that's this is the one product I thought I'm not going to find this over here and it's the product that I need the most and um, so as I said in the shop I'm not sure how good the quality is going to be but any castor oil is better than nothing. Um, what else I picked up was some olive oil which they had and it's specifically for hair as well which is good because I don't really like the thought of just using the standard olive oil even if I was to get an organic one I just feel like I don't know I probably would but I'm just glad this one's specifically for hair. I also picked up some Pantene shampoo. To be quite honest, I'm probably just going to use my black soap for shampoo. Um, so I've got a big bar of black soap. Um, I'll just be using that to cleanse my hair because that's like the best thing. I also have some Pantene conditioner. I've got this horrible mousse, but this is literally all I can find over here. It's so scented, it's actually crazy, but it's literally all I've got, so it's going to have to do. Um, also, I picked up in Thailand this conditioner, which is from Boots in Thailand. Um, I was hoping they'd have like a Cantu range or a dark and lovely, I don't know, something, but they didn't. But I got this stuff, which is the Argan Oil and Jojoba Oil um, Intensive Mass Treatment. So I'm probably just going to lace this up with some castor oil and olive oil and just try and make it as rich as possible. And um, But hopefully this will just do bits for my hair, hopefully. And then from my beloved friend Janae, she gave, just before she went back to the UK, she gave me her Kerry Care Edge Control. I don't know what I would have done without this. Um, there's barely anything in it, so this is going to be on rations. So I'll only be using this on special occasions. And then she also gave me the Eco Styler Gel, which again, mate, there's nothing in it. <laughs> but it'll have to do, and I'll only be using that on special occasions. That is pretty much everything I have for the rest of my time here, which is, who knows, it's undecided. Now, with that being said, I have managed to meet somebody, well, I haven't physically met her yet, but there's another blogger over here. She's called the Pint Size Traveler, another black girl. She's got her own wraps over here and everything. She's killing it right now. She has been kind enough to donate me some of her products that she no longer uses. So hopefully there's some good stuff in there and it works for my hair because that would literally be a godsend. I'll be meeting up with her tomorrow but for now this is what we're working with guys so wish me luck, wish me luck. I'm not going to show you the process of me taking out the braids because that'll just be the most boring thing ever and to be honest I just want to do this naked because it's already so hot and y'all know how it is taking out braids. It's going to be a very long, hot, sweaty tiring process and I just want to be as cool as possible so I'll get back to you guys when I'm about to wash the hair this is all the hair here so I am back that took way way longer than I expected I literally thought crochet was like a two minute job that's why when I first got them done I was like this is sick like this is braids but so much easier but no, it still took me four hours, which is a bit mad. I should probably order some food now. See, that's the best thing about Asia. I've literally ordered food every single day this week, but it's actually decent food and it's affordable. So it's better to order than it is to walk out in the street and get food at this time of night. So I'm just going to order some food now. 
Okay, so the next step is deep condition. So I am gonna drench this hair in some of the argan oil and jojoba oil deep conditioning mask. And then I'm also gonna be using my castor oil and my olive oil. And my technique of deep conditioning my hair is normally I'll keep it in the two, no, well, I'll take it out, deep condition it and then I apply it back up and then I'll wash my hair with the plait still in just because I find that's a lot more manageable. So I am going to be doing that but this time I'm going to be doing it even smaller because I don't have a hair dryer and yeah it's a bit mad. So I'm going to have to try air dry this which is something I haven't done and since my hair was like that short so it's going to be wild. Hopefully it dries quick enough tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to try to do it as small as possible just so I can try dry it as quick as possible. My hair has shrunk so much. And I know this happens like when you take your hair out of extensions. It always shrinks and then it miraculously goes back to the normal size after like a couple of days or so. But it's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. And it needs trimming so badly. Sorry, I just had to take a moment of silence then. Hopefully I can revive it though. While I'm out here, I'm planning on doing the rise challenge. So hopefully that can bring a bit of length about because yeah, it's bad. It's fake heels. One time, one time, one time. Stand up, baby. One time, one time. God, it's actual. Castor oil, like it's fake and it smells like castor oil. This is mad. I am so happy. Man, I tell him, man, I tell him, man, I tell him, me then go slow. Them are feeling no more vibe and see the girl, them go down. finally finished i almost forgot to come back i totally forgot i was filming a video for a second but my hair is feeling so nourished and i'm honestly not even just saying that like it feels like i've got some can too or some and jackie's on here like my hair feels so good i'm just so happy about this and um, but now i'm just gonna leave the condition to sit on it a bit longer gonna put this bag over my head just to retain the heat and retain the moisture gonna eat my food and then i will wash this off and literally go to bed and that is the end this process was honestly a lot more painless than i expected and yeah hopefully i wake up tomorrow and it's just nice and moisturized and behaved itself but we shall see <laughs> Finally, I can relax. My hair is all clean. Oh my god, it feels amazing right now. Like, I am shocked. I am so. Oh, sorry, let me turn this off. I am so shocked. It feels so good. I don't know what's going on with this new style I've got but it just feels so good still like 75 maybe 60 percent wet and um, so what i'm going to do is sleep with my microfiber towel wrapped around my head and hopefully that just soaks up all the excess um water and hopefully tomorrow my hair will be nice and moisturized and fresh and then I've got the difficulty of deciding a hairstyle. But I do have my wig with me, so to be fair, I'm probably gonna just, just throw that on. Maybe not today, I mean, sorry, maybe not tomorrow. I might give my hair at least a day to just chill. But then after that, it's back to regular scheduling and I'm gonna put my wig on, I think. And But yeah, that is day one of hair day complete. Y'all know how it is, being a black girl, your hair literally takes all day. I could not have planned to do anything else today because it just wouldn't have worked out. And yeah, all tomorrow morning I'm going to be doing the same thing. But I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible. But I hope you guys enjoyed today anyway and I will see you tomorrow morning.
see what's going on. Okay, so I lied. You're not going to see me tomorrow. I totally forgot to film. <laughs> But basically, I ended up wearing these plaits for the next two days, and then the day after was my birthday, so I ended up putting my wig on for my birthday, of course, so you can go and check out my birthday vlog if you want to see my wig. But yeah, that is pretty much it, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are planning on travelling, bring your own products and make it easy on yourself, but if not, there is a few things out there that you can work with. But yeah, that's it for this video, so I'll see you in my next one. Peace.